are just about a month away from Big Ten Media Days, Media Days across the country, and then right into August camp, and then four weeks away from the big openers, Ohio State, Notre Dame's the headliner. Do you have any kind of early feel on that one? The, the, the feedback I'm getting from the fans, and somebody asked me something about fans the other day, and I was trying to be very complimentary to say I don't form my opinion based on the feedback I get from fans, but it sounds like Buckeye fans are, they're not only anticipating a win, they're anticipating like a three or four touchdown win. Notre Dame fans seem to be more calculated, like, you know, I think we can compete in this game and hopefully we can pull it out. Do you, do you have a feel for where these teams stand? Well, I think I'm I'm not big on predictions until training camp because so much happens in training camp, not only injuries, but also just the development of a team. I mean, Ohio State fans forget that they had one of the most atrocious defenses they've had in a long time, merely eight months ago, right? So to think that that is just an immediate fix because they paid a guy a lot of money and he had success somewhere else, that, that that's not always the case. Is it possible? Yes. Will it happen? I think it will, but we don't know that yet. And so, at, and at the same time, I really think that what you've seen is Marcus Freeman, you know, maybe saying some things out in the media that can be perceived as shots at Ohio state and Ryan Day's kept his mouth shut. And that tells me that he really believes in what he has on the field and he's going to let that do the talking. The other thing that makes me think that Ohio state has an extreme advantage in this game is Notre Dame is pushing a, a select number of high profile recruits. They're, they're, you know, they're in the middle of, they're trying to push them not to go to the game. That would tell me that Notre Dame doesn't really like their chances and doesn't want that kid on the sideline witnessing what might happen on that Saturday night. So those are the things I look at, um, but I, it, it's too early to tell. This Ohio State team, we know the storylines. Marvin Harrison Jr., the C.J. Stroud, this Jim Knowles defense. I, I, I read it all. I see it all. There's still so much to be done in the month of August that they could be the best team in the country come September 3rd, but they also might still need some development on the defense side of the ball. So I think it's too early to tell. And yeah, it, of course, the perfect script is that Jim Knowles fix every, everything right. before they ever hit the field, but there's no preseason games. This is the only sport, no, no preseason to get things fixed against live competition. So maybe the best script is the offense carries them. The defense gets better week to week and it's, it's uh, a finely tuned, oiled machine by the end of the deal, but uh, they get carried by the offense for the first half of the season. They just keep getting better and better on D. But I think that's what they do have. I mean, I think the offense, there's no doubt about it, it's going to be lethal. I think the the addition of Justin Fry as the offensive line coach is going to pay dividends in the run game, in the offensive line's performance. And that was really one of the biggest question marks about this team is can the offensive line play at a very, very high level? We know the skill they have at receiver. We know the backfield they have. They have three running backs that I think are NFL running backs. C.J. Stroud is, if not one, one of the top two quarterbacks in college football so we know what their offense has and I agree I think that's going to be the storyline if the defense isn't what people think it is yet Ryan Day and CJ Stroud in this offense are just going to have to just score every time they touch the ball and just carry this team as they go through the growing pains that you know are going to come new system a bunch of players that haven't played at a very high, high level there's going to be some growing pains as long as the offense can set the pace I think they'll be fine all right. It should be intriguing because they're, the expectations are where they typically are, top two or three in the country competing for a national title. Coach Zach Smith, that's the handle on Twitter. Follow him there, Menace to Sports. It's a great uh, uh, podcast that uploads each and every day. Zach, appreciate you stopping by. As always, laying down the knowledge for us. Yeah, thanks for having me, Mark. I appreciate it.